You don't belong here anymore. This is not your home. Go but back to her. Please. Go back. Stop this. We don't want to. Right off for you, but you were so late. I made you a radio for a birthday present. I'll go and get it. Go away, Jeremy. Papa. Oh, poor Jeremy. You're beautiful. Nunziata's hands are rough. She's worked, she has had children, she's old. But no older than you. What have you to be beautiful? I took care of myself. Men want their women beautiful. Kathleen? Yes? Where is the beauty that once was in my life? Why did I come to this? How did it happen? You always wanted a little more. Why couldn't you take life as it came? Who wants life as it comes? What do you want? I knew once. I thought I knew. There was a thing that happened. There came a time in my life when I did want something. First time in my life. I knew I really wanted something. I had been working on a job. The biggest job I had ever seen. It was not only the biggest, it was the coldest job I had ever worked. Cold, cold. 
I can't tell which are the hens and which are the bricks. These are the bricks. Yeah. Come on, Uncle, lay brick. The cold. Dig, Luigi, dig! Uh, Peter, my, my knuckles are cracking because the bricks beat frost. Dig into the wall. Lay brick with your tongue if your hands are too cold. This is job. This is war. This is one dollar and fifty cents an hour. It isn't worth it. Curse that black heart. Can't they scrape away that cursed slop so a man can stand? Uh, curse the day I lay my first brick. Back brick. Hand breathing, muscle tearing. Come make it around, curse and all of it. Are you warmer now? Yeah. Good and warm. Way down, huh? Short way up. It's one dollar fifty cents an hour. It wouldn't make much until you hit the ground. General Mayo, listen, it was an accident. Sure, Martin, we know. I don't belong up here. I wasn't cut out to be an ordinary labor. I belong on the ground. Yeah, well, you almost made it. Stories. 40s are no higher than 10. Best thing is, forget it. Go right back to work. I'm quitting. It's not that I'm afraid. This isn't for me. Sure, man. It's not I'm quitting. You know, this is the smartest thing he's done in his life. Maybe. But at least he knows it's easier for a bricklayer to go down than up. You could be smart, too. Well, I had a chance to get out of this business once. Who wants to be a bootlegger? <laughs> that was close. Yeah. Closest yet. Yeah. How long before we would be completely forgotten? For me, two days. For you? A week. Nobody to weep for you? Nobody. For you? Nobody. Practically no way. Come on, let's eat. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, hello, Margarita. Uh, yes, yeah, spoiled mama's child. Huh? Oh, the fool of a woman, she came on her own. And with a child in this cold. On a day like this, a man needs hot food. And what do you think of this one? You mean this is one we haven't seen before? Yeah, this one's comparatively new. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, watch your dirty fingers. Hey, make a bricklayer of him there. Not this one. He's going to be a great American builder. And I'm going to help him shovel the gold oh. in the cellar. Here's something better than gold. Oh. Hold this just a second, Giovanni, will you? Oh. This food makes me take leave of my manners. Throw away that American lettuce and sink your teeth into some real Italian food. Are you sure there's enough? <laughs> if he had an Italian girl, he would never ask a question like that. How long since you've been in an Italian house? When an Italian cooks, there is enough food for Garibaldi's arm. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the baby has another tooth. Another tooth? Let me see. Luigi. Hmm? Why did you never marry? Why? Hmm. Because I was as crazy as you are. 
All I wanted was fun. So along comes the shoemaker I wanted more. So Philomena marries him and I come to America. Was she beautiful? Must every woman be beautiful? Oh, it's not a disadvantage. She had other things. Now she has ten children. Her husband doesn't make one dollar and fifty cents an hour. He doesn't even make fifty cents. But, but see that I had a table, huh? With ten children eating spaghetti. And Philomena serving it. Uh, hmm. I got this when I was over there last year visiting. See for yourself. Which one is she? This is Annunziata, the oldest. Now you should see her. She does all the housework, all by herself. Takes care of all the children. While her parents are out all day working. Oh. What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. I, I just realized that Annunciata must be exactly the same age now as Philomena was when I was courting her. Yeah, makes one sad. You don't see faces like that around here. It was exactly like you were. Romance! That's all I wanted, romance. Never love. At least I should have married one of my romances. Oh, Jeremy, if only I was your sweet age. What is it? You've been staring at me all night. I've been thinking. About what? About us. So soon, Jeremy? Are you happy? I'm having fun, aren't you? Isn't there anything more you want? Yes, but I'm not hard to please. I'll take what I've got right now. Look, what's bothering you? I don't want us to go on as we have been, Kathleen. Oh. Look. I want something more. I want a life that'll, that'll build and grow. A family, a home. I want to marry. Do you mean to say you've made up your mind just like that? To get married? Yes. The way I understood it, people were supposed to fall madly in love. Would you marry me? Why don't you answer me? If you had a different job. If... You don't think I'd be able to earn a living for my family? What kind of living? Let's take a good look at your friends, especially the ones with families. Why? What's wrong with them? Wrong? The way they live? If they work one week in a month, they're on top of the world. Look, I could get you a steady job at the store, a respectable job. You could wear decent clothes. I don't want a respectable job at the store. I'm a bricklayer. I'm a builder. Can't you change? Why tie ourselves down, Jeremy? This is 1921. Things are happening, a whole new world. It's such a wonderful time to be Kathleen, here. will you marry me? Jeremy, you No, I've seen too much of it to be sucked in. And what gets into you guys, anyway? Don't you know when you're well off? Maybe I don't. It's the way it is. I will open for 25 Sami. Don't wait too much for me. I want to see that picture again. Here we come. Sure. Look, guys. I want to marry Anunziata. They are separating now the sheep from the goats. Sheep and goats? Immigration is deciding which can come in, which must return. Maybe they won't let her in. Why shouldn't they let her in? She has a husband waiting for her. He's paid the bond. I'll find out what else is being said. 
What's the matter? Are you ill? No, no. If you're frightened now, what will you be like at the wedding? It's the heat. Wait, wait, friend Jamil. The heat will be the least of it. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, yeah. I must talk to you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. Luigi, she must go back. What do you say? I cannot marry her. Remember, it was I who spoke for you. Forgive me, Luigi. I've done a terrible thing. What have you done? I have lied to her. You have a hidden wife? No, no, Luigi. In the letter in which she said she would come, she made one condition. She said... Uh, her hair falling... But, and then the authorities will what? arrive... At the, this is of no interest to you. And then it, Oh, here. Please do not think me forward, but there is one thing I must ask. Uh, for here in Abruzzi, no matter how poor, we have always had our own house. I could not live under a strange roof. There would be no happiness for me. So if you cannot now give me a house, no matter how small, I will wait for you until you can. Well. I told her I had a house. You told her you I had could a... not wait. It's done. I, I will pay her passage back. I... Have you gone poo poo? Hey, Jeremio! Those who are coming are now coming! Come on! You must tell her. Now? <laughs> How would she feel? It would frighten her. Yes, yes. She would think she'd fallen in with a pack of villains. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give her a chance to catch her breath. But listen. Tell her you will get her a house. You'll work for it. Yes. And tell us soon. I will, Luigi, I will. Jeremio, huh? Jeremio, she is over here. will be good, Jeremio. It will be good. naked angel that lies in roasted beauty before these very eyes. <laughs> because love is hunger and wishes to devour. Without money you're poor, without food you're thin, without wine you're sober, without laughter you're sad. Without love, you're nothing, nothing at all. Not a man, not a mouse, not a maiden, not a spouse. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Without love, you're nothing, nothing, nothing. With money you can buy food. With money you can buy food. Get fat. Get fat. Buy wine. Buy wine. Get drunk. Oh. Laugh and be gay. But you can't buy love. 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 Without love, you're nothing, nothing at all. Not a man, not a mouse, not a maiden, not a spouse. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Without love, you're nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Come in and buy it. Attention, countrymen. I have a 
thing to say. I say this is a true marriage. For who is it has been seated at the right of the bride and groom in the place of honor? Me. The midwife. <laughs> What I would find when I came here. Now I know. I am among my people. Let's devour. Taking you with me. Who knows? Someday we may become big contractors. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Yeah, hire and fire. No, I'm satisfied. I'm a working man. I don't like hire and fire. Oh, we'll be okay. We'll make a good team. I got you in line. Jeremy, oh! You're a sophie. The house. Here you go. Ah, there you go. Go, get a minute. Everybody get that. Get a minute. Get a minute. Get a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get a minute. Julio. Now, give us a minute. Wait a minute. When it comes to business, this Jeremiah is the head of paper. Bug the condition. Thousand dollars for house. A thousand dollars for that. It's a good house, Luigi. I can make it a good house. Okay. Twenty-five dollars in hard cash now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. soon as seven hundred fifty dollars in hard cash paid to me, he can move in. Balance, $250 in installment plan, weekly, $5. Signed, Yaroslav. But... But you promised me I could have the house for three days honeymoon. What good is a house for three days? But you promised me! P.S. I rent house for three days honeymoon. Signed, Yaroslav. Approved? Seven hundred and fifty dollars, he moves in. Seven hundred fifty dollars, he moves in. Approved. Approved. Ready? I still haven't told her yet. About the house. What shall I do? You still haven't told her? What are you waiting Shh. for? Tell her! What shall I say? What word shall I use? No, just say that you will... That, that, that they're going to... Then... Well, you can't. You can't. Not on her wedding night. There's only but one moment like this in a whole lifetime. It must be enjoyed to the full. Let her have this three days honeymoon. Let the memory of it be, be like a jewel that she'll adorn her for the rest of her life. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> Jeremia. Take me home now, Jeremia. Yes, it's time.
Pasti keren gitu ya, Bi? Pasti What do they call this place we are going to? Paradise. <laughs> no, I mean other people. Oh, then. They call it Brooklyn. This is the house. Tuesday noon. Tuesday noon. You are right, teacher mio. It is an elderly house. Its bones creak and it has the rheumatism. But we will make it young again. We will make it beautiful. Yes, I have dreamed of this moment. And always something said, it will never happen to you, Annunziata. All the days on the ship I kept saying, perhaps he will not love me. Perhaps I will not love him. Perhaps the ship will sink. Perhaps I will get sick and they will send me back. Perhaps he will change his mind. But isn't it wonderful, Jeremio? Not one of those things happened. And here we are, in our own home. And I am happy. Are you as happy as I am? Yes. One's honeymoon must be pure happiness. in a new house, one has to sprinkle the salt. Especially in the corners. Not that I believe this, but how much the salt cost? If you wish to laugh at me, you may. I have no desire to laugh at you, Annunziata. Then I will hand the picture of St. Joseph over the door. You are not sorry you left Italy. You are Italy, Jeremio. You are family, Annunziata. You are love.
the sun is my wine. I never dream before the sun sets. Mm -hmm. uh, that is <laughs> never before today. <laughs> Besides, one glass of wine makes me foolish. <laughs> me too. Uh, besides, we have so many things to talk about. I will want a trellis built there. Mm -hmm. And there the soil is good for tomatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I shall want the broken step repaired. Mm -hmm. And the front door must be painted. Mm -hmm. And the parlor. Ooh, and I shall want it painted blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. two fools. Ah. How the world spins! <laughs> of all the spaghetti that was ever created, this is the greatest. No, 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 wait, wait! Don't eat it. I have forgotten the cheese. Never mind the cheese. Never mind the cheese. What are we, cannibals? I will get the cheese. But first, you will kiss me. Hmm. If in the future anyone wishes to know what true happiness is, tell them to come to the house of Jeremy in Brooklyn. I think you better kiss me again. Mm. Oh, how brazen I have become in the last three days. <laughs> days. Has it been three days? Manzana! You fool. Manzana, forgive me, but I didn't have enough money. Manzana, look at me. I couldn't wait. I, I wanted to tell you, but but Luigi and I, we thought that if... Fernanziata, listen to me. I've already paid $25. I have $200 in the bank. As soon as we have $750, Yaroslav will let us move in. Am I too early? Lady, I tell you what I do. $500, you move in. Annunziata, you hear? Five hundred dollars and we move in. Annunziata. I will wash the dishes and straighten up. We must leave the house clean.
there's a fine sun in the morning. Would you like to sprinkle the salt? No. Here, I'll hang the picture of St. Joseph over the door. Is it not our door? Never lie to me again. Never. No matter what else. We will never lie to each other. Whatever is in our hearts, we will say. Yes, Annunziata. I promise you we will have a house. I will work like two men. We will save every penny. We need only $275 more. Two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yes, but I make one dollar fifty cents the hour, and I work eight hours a day, and sometimes when I have a good week, as much as sixty-six dollars. Sixty-six dollars? Why, in a short time? No, 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 no wait, wait, Annunziata. The truth is, even when things are at their best, I work only one week in three. Oh. Even so, one in three, that's 22 a week. Yes, but then there's the rent and the food and the lunch and the fare. And they make? They make at least 19 a week. Oh. We will make it 15. No, we can't. I will eat less. No. All right. It will be 16. It can't be done. 17. I, I go no higher. All right, 70. That makes five to the bank. Five a week into 275 is, um... 55. Five. Oh, yes. Jeremio, it's only 55 weeks. That will not be long. With God's help, that will not be long. And what's more, I'm going to tell you exactly what I said to the boss. I said, now, don't you worry for a minute about this time limit. Go ahead, take this contract. I've worked with these men. I know them. And I can promise you one thing. Even if it means that we work harder and faster, we get this job through on time for you. We work hard and fast all the time, Mert. Oh, you mean, why do you work harder and faster? Listen, fellas, I'm an old hard carrier myself. You don't think I'd ask you to speed this up just for the fun of it, now, do you? I looked after us, too. Now, get this. For the man who lays the most brick on the best, there will be a $100 bonus. 100 bucks. Hey, $100. Do you think this is a good thing, Madden? Sure I do, don't you? Well, what I mean is, we all work harder, but only one man will benefit. Yeah, but 100 bucks. Yes, but each man here is thinking he will be the one. Remember, only one can win. What do we others get for the extra work? What? Look, you fellas, look. There's 100 bucks waiting for one of you. 100 bucks that you never figured on getting. What do you want me to do? Go to the boss and tell him to get another crew? Tell him you guys don't want the dough? Okay, then let's go. Get a meal. We mustn't work against each other. Well, if we don't, somebody else will. I need that money. We all need the money. There's another way, Jeremy. How? Well, we five can work together. Said one of us must win. And divide the money five ways? That's right. Well, that's only twenty dollars. Jeremy. We've always been like like five sticks in a bundle. All right. But the one who wins must get more than the others. Well, I suppose you think you will be the one that wins. Yes, there is that possibility. Listen, I can lay brick for brick with any man in the state. In the nation. In the whole cylindrical universe. Whoever hinted you were a bricklayer, if you well, think suppose you think Wait a minute. It already begins. One against the other. We work together, we divide equally. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. We understand. It means you all have to work a little harder, so we can all help the one. Understood. <laughs>
me now. Who desires to touch Wait you? a minute. Are you are fighting like women? Look. The others are going ahead. Jeremio. Jumper and tools for celebration. I'm off to the tavern. Who is with me? I can taste the wine already. What else on a Saturday afternoon with a bonus in the pocket? Twenty dollars extra. Me? Oh no, I'm going home. Oh, oh. oh. I remember when Jeremiah was a man, not just a husband. <laughs> Poor fellow, I remember him when he had a taste for the female and wasn't afraid of them. I remember when he understood the juice of the grape. Hey, come on, <laughs> let's drink to his memory, huh? huh? To Jeremio. To Jeremio. To the memory of Jeremio. No! <laughs> <laughs> if you don't come with us, you will regret it. If you do come with us, you will also regret it. So come with us and regret it like the rest of us. Look at me! It'll dry on the way out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you can talk about? Is there anything better? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, the female. <laughs> No matter how much trouble she is, nothing better has been invented for the human man. How she, how she sugars a man's soul and delights a man's blood. And how much better when she is yours in matrimony. Hello, boys. Hello, Captain. Friend Julia. Friend Luigi. I have the feeling that we are the most superfluous. Let us remove ourselves. Yes. Where was that? Severina. Ah, Severina, indeed. Now, she... You double-crossed me, Jeremy. I have. You did what you said you would. Oh. You didn't believe I meant it? Not deep down, I didn't. It's the last time I'll ever trust that deep down feeling. How's married life? Good. Worth it? Yes. Have you found anybody? You won't believe it, but he really is a butter and egg man. And cheese. He doesn't bring me flowers. He brings me cheese. What can you do with flowers? Are you happy? Never happier. That's not true. I'm lonely. I'm sorry. Wait, don't go. Not yet. I've moved. You don't even know where I live. Isn't it better that way? No. I want you to know where I am in case... In case what, Kathleen? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I lie awake at night sometimes, thinking Jeremy doesn't even know where I am. Take it. It'll make me feel better. All right. Good night. Your husband. Oh, please turn around. What were you shouting for? I have a thing to tell you. What thing? That I love you. Is that a thing to shout about? Yes. You are drunk. Yes. No. What a fool I married. Ah, but you married me for my money. You mean you didn't know I was rich? Here, wait. $20 bonus. $20. For being the world's greatest bricklayer. $20. <laughs> oh. 
I know, it's taking longer than we thought. It doesn't matter. Wine? Why not wine? This is an occasion. But it must have a cost two dollars and fifty cents. Well, what difference the cost? What difference? When during all these months only once have you worked a full week? I don't care if it goes slowly. But what if something should happen? I do the best I know how. I work as hard as I can. It's not as if I spend money on myself or on women. Jeremio. You assume like all the other marriages. Well. Then what did you expect between a man and a woman? There must be a certain amount of disagreement. I should have stopped at the tavern with the others. Why didn't you? I felt sorry for you up here all alone. Did the others feel sorry for their wives? Some wives are more beautiful than others. I'm not beautiful. What are they looking for? These men who are not sorry for their wives. Some men who cannot find a jewel will take five and ten cents to a paste. Annunziata, listen. From now on, no matter what else happens, on Saturday night, we will forget all our troubles. We will set Saturday night aside for ourselves. We will even forget that we are man and wife. Wait. The Saturday night, when my husband will have to make me fall in love with him all over again. I'll sweep you off your feet. I'll make your head spin. And I'll do it without wine. To Saturday night. Well, see. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Monster come on. Jack for you. Just what I need. No. Luigi is gifted. He knows just what I need. He take every card that murderer. No good, no good. Bad luck is a faithful dog to me. Ah, for me! <laughs> for queen! Oh, you liar, you hypocrite, lying with three queens in his hand. Get up, I got four queens. Everybody get up, I got four queens. Get up! Why is it taking so long? I'll go home and find out. She is frightened that a job will come along. I will not be here to claim it. A job? When this very moment his newborn son may be banging the table, calling for his cuckoo of a father. Annunziata is like a tiger. I will do what has to be done without your help, she says. You stay at the hall. She only speaks out of ignorance because this is her first. Believe me, she needs your honor. Go home, go home. Go home. Go home. If the job turns up, I call you in person. A promise? Yeah, a promise. <laughs> Fool to the devil. Water to hell's fire. Soul to the devil. Water to hell's fire. Soul to the devil. What's happening? How is she? Someone has put the evil eye on her. We must chase away the devil. Nunziata. Why are you here? I thought perhaps it would be better. Go back to the Union Hall. A job! Malfortuna. Strange. It all began with such loving promise. I will get a doctor. No! Twenty-five dollars. I want to have a doctor. I want to have him. It is enough. The child will be born in a strange house. But he will grow up in his own home. No, Doctor. There are other things to be done. What things? Go into the kitchen and pull seven eyelashes from your right eye, six from the left, boil them in salt water, and then sprinkle it in the four corners of the room. 
I will get a doctor. No! Only a few weeks more. Even if we had the five hundred dollars, it is still required we pay five dollars a week. We will have no rent to pay. Oh, Jeremy, it will be done. And then we will have our Saturday nights again. And wine. Only a few weeks more.
day's work for one man. Half day's work what for one man. What dry macaroni is this? Are there no bricks? Do we no longer have hands? Why do we not build? Haven't you heard? There's a depression on it. Why don't you guys figure it out for yourselves which man it'll be? I've been wanting to talk to you, Jeremy. Will you be home this evening? I'm always home. I'll drop in. A half a day's work for one man. Wall Street has collapsed. No more liable to have collapsed. The career of builder in this land is finished. The soil of the nation contradicts itself. Half a day's work for one man. In the house of Julio, the air has become hunger. Stomachs have become wounds. In the house of Julio, children's hearts have become swollen vessels. In the house of Jeremio, the dream is dying. And it is worse than hunger. Money was saved for a house. Money torn from our food and comfort. Now we are eating our dream. We are childless. Oh, it's my woman. Her blood is broken. She's in desperate need of food and warmth. Well, I've only the consideration of my own hunger and cold. Yeah, not much to be considered for Luigi. He still got his bank account to draw up. <laughs> what is there to be said? It is to be said that there is most hunger and cold in the house of Julia. that Merton must choose. He is the foreman. I think he will choose you because you are the fastest. No. No, the work belongs to Julia. Thank you. that I smell. Spaghetti with real meat sauce. Spaghetti? No, oh, no, I must be in the wrong house. Pardon me. No, no, you're in the right house. And who are you? 
I'm Menina. I'm Menina. Uh huh. And who is the beautiful lady? Why, don't be foolish. That's Mama. <laughs> you, I seem to remember from someplace. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, look, 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 smell, smell. And wait till you see what else I have. Wine. Julia's wife brought it. I don't know why. It's good wine. Tonight there is wine for everyone. John. John. Anina. John. Paul. Anina. The beautiful lady. Oh. And for me. To us. Aviva. 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 Hmm. That's Murden. I'll let him in. I like to talk with you. Come in. Have you eaten? Uh, thank you. It is too much trouble, thank you. No, no. Sit down. Maybe when you hear what I come to say, maybe you will not want me to eat with you. You are welcome at our table. Sit. Letter. We have no secrets for my children. Good and bad is known to them. It is the house. I cannot help myself. I must sell the house. Sell the house. My money is all gone. I tell the relief woman, government must help me because I am old man. I am starving. But the relief woman say, no, Yaroslav, she say, no, you have house, you, you sell house. G government cannot help until you sell house. What can poor men do? But you cannot. No, he cannot. It is our house. We have worked on it. We have loved it. I will give you money. I will give you one hundred dollars. We only have one hundred twenty-five left. It doesn't matter. Me. It is my house. The house you pledged me. I will have it. I cannot do this, lady. Take it, young son. Take it. You will not sell the house. I will not sell the house. Leave me by star. Sit down. Where's the game with me to us again tomorrow? We will if it snows. Will it snow? Paul went to find out. Paul, tell him. The man on Mrs. Olsen's radio. Doesn't Papa know? No, only the man on the radio knows. Somebody's knocking. I'll answer. Just a minute. Saving on electricity. Sure, I know. I'll turn it on. Oh, it's all right. Go ahead, sit down. Nice. I got a chance to be a contractor. Contractor, huh? I put in a bid on a job. 
What makes you think you'll win the contract? My bid will be the lowest. The bidding was not secret? But to me it wasn't. You bid below this figure? Turn the page. That's my bid. It's impossible. You mean it can't be done? You think it can? Of course, we'll have to cut a few corners. Looks like the corners have already been cut. That shoring, for example. The shoring's for the men's safety. Timbers are not half strong enough. You know that the safety regulations are about three times as strict as they need to be. I wish you luck, Martin. You'll need it. I want you to come in on this with me, as my foreman. No. We can work this together. No! Well, I don't know what you're getting so excited about. There isn't a chance in a... No, th whatever else, at least I'll be able to sleep at night. Will you? Papa. Yes? The man on the radio said no more snow. All right, Paulie. Well, there doesn't always have to be meat sauce and spaghetti. Go into Mama. We're living in tough times, Jeremy. Think about it. All right, but now think about it. going to rain tomorrow. There's no need to save on electricity. I have a job with Merton. Well, that is the piece of work to be done. A job? In truth, yeah, a miracle yeah. is this. Oh, oh boy, isn't it great? Oh, hey, Jeremy, how did it come Jeremy, about? Jeremy, you got it first. No kidding. Yeah. Well, it came about this way. I... I went to Merton and said, you have always wanted to be a contractor, now is your time. If you find a job, bid on it. Hunger has given our men four arms and two backs. Each man among us will work like two men without rest, That's from right. whistle to whistle. You sure. 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 Jeremy, oh, there is a thing I would say. My, uh, my nose is well known. <laughs> <laughs> There's a troublesome, how can it be said, uh, an odor not satisfying to my nose about this job. And who asked you to smell? <laughs> I mean nothing by it, Jeremy, oh, it's just that... Well, this is not just alone a job of building, it's demolition, tearing down of old walls. This job is not safe. What do you want, an American gold seal guarantee? Safe. Go sell apples, that is safe. Freeze on the corner, that is safe. Now, sitting at home, that's safe. Not with his wife. <laughs> Dying of hunger, that's the safest thing in the world. No risk whatsoever. It is not often I ask a question, but when I do, I want an answer. What do you wish to know? I wish to know how it is Murden got this contract. Is it that he bid away our safety? That's what I wish to know. Listen, Julio. I'll Pardo. answer him. Egypt. In Jeremy, our foreman. Has he studied the plans carefully? Has he? I have seen the plans. That's good enough for me. Come on, fellows. Brass jacks are waiting for us. Come on. <laughs> what a fool I am. Even if I knew the walls would fall on me, I'd still have to go. Jeremy. Hmm. What is wrong? 
What do you mean? We no longer speak to each other. We speak to each other all the time. Only with the lips. You imagine it. No. You used always to tell me about what happened on the jobs. Who was jealous and who was praised. You should know by now all work is the same. You know what I ask. And yet, you don't answer. Why, Jeremy? There's nothing to be said. are like cloth. You knew what the work would be. If you can't do it, I'll get someone else who can. Good morning. You call that fast work? Yeah, I call it fast. We pledged. We pledged to get job done quickly. You're not working with me. You know, my father always wanted me to be a barber. What barber could do that to his work? <laughs> you may yet have a chance to be a barber. Mm. Julio, you're a lucky man. Mm. You must tell me how you do it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, best. Well, well, you are a lucky man. Julio, Margarita's pizza will drive any man to marriage. Ah. <laughs> what did you expect? The boss cannot eat with his men. Is this a delegation? Jeremy, oh. We've come to talk about a thing. We have always been like five sticks in a bundle. It's well known among us that this job is bad. And so we want... I don't want to hear any more complaints. This job is as good as any. For every job, there are a hundred starving men walking the streets. Have I tied you with ropes? This is a free country. If you think the job's too dangerous, quit. Quit! And so we... We wanted to ask you if you would come with us tonight to Gennaro's. Like the old days. And with a bottle of wine to... wash away this ugly thing that's come between you and us. I try, my soul is off in the gentle hills of Abruzzi. Luigi, get up. Jeremy. I said get up. Now don't talk to me that way. We are friends. Until Je this job is done, I have no friends. Jeremy. 
There is nothing in life which is worth this. Go to work, Luigi. Jeremy, look. I... If I must, I will replace you too. of straw, a big wind, anything. Come on, Johnny. Relax. We're getting along fine. Merton, we cannot do this. The boy's been griping? No, but... Listen, we haven't got them chained down. Anytime anybody wants to, he can quit. Anytime. Quit. How can starving men quit? Oh, cut it out. It's just another job. There's nothing to worry about. Worrying, get on with the job. Who is it? It's Luigi. Get an ambulance. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> what can I do for you, Luigi? <laughs> and talk for a moment. No. Are you in trouble, Jeremy? I'm all right.
There's another union meeting today. Not today. Why? What is today? Nothing. I thought tonight you would stay home. It's been so long since all of us have eaten together. You will be home for supper? Yeah, I will try. Please! The children have not seen you for so long. I will be home. Mama, I'm hungry. I would not forget my own birthday. He'll come. You heard Mama say I went to a union meeting. But well, he can't be at a meeting all this time. Oh, he'll come. Let us eat. Oh, please, Mama. Just a few more minutes. I worked so hard to build that radio for him. Exactly as I did. You you believe that, don't you, Kathleen? I believed it every time you've told me. Then why do you look at me like that? I was feeling sorry for the wine. It's a very good wine you haven't even noticed. The cheapest wine would have been just as good the way you're using it. Yes, it has quality. The worst of it is, it doesn't seem to do you any good. I know exactly how the wine feels. It must have cost a great deal. Why? I thought it would make you happy. It's your birthday. 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 You remembered. Yeah, I remembered. Oh, I must go home. But you can't go like that. <laughs> Happy 
It is a puzzle, isn't it? What does it mean? Oh, I don't know. It must mean something. Perhaps it's because I'm bad that I'm being punished. That could be understood. But why then is Annunziata being punished and the children? And why was it Luigi who fell? Poor Jeremio. Something has happened to his neat little world where everything is either good or bad. Well, what is there in your world? Not good or bad, or right or wrong. Just the strong and the weak. But I feel myself to be strong. Strong enough to live for yourself? To take from life what can be had? What are you trying to tell me, Kathleen? I would go away with you, Jeremy. No. Go away. Run away? To run away from my job, my friends, my family? Where is the strength in that? What about Jeremio? What about him? Isn't he entitled to a little peace of mind? Happiness? Oh, we could be happy, Jeremy. No, no. A man does not live for himself alone. There must be something more than that. What more is there? Kathleen. I once asked you to marry me. You were strong, you refused, you wanted freedom. Was that enough? Yes, yes it was. Is it enough? You see, there is something more than that, Kathleen. Yes, I suppose there is. Ours was a strange love. All loves are strange. Maybe someday when you're walking down the street with your wife and family, we'll run into each other. How old is your son, Paul? Nine. Yeah, it was not you. It was the tenement and the job and the fear. The bitterness in my heart that I struck at. I should have told you. I should have told the men. You should have told me. It will be all right now. We'll finish soon. I will talk to the men. We will be careful. Now we will work together. And other, we must never again grow apart. I should not have let myself grow old. I love you.
purpose. This is Good Friday. As is the custom, I would wash my soul clean. I have wronged you. I have lied about safety measures. This job truly is a house of straw. You have all been risking your lives on my word. I no longer want that on my conscience. No. You mean this job has been dangerous? Oh. But beyond that, there was a thing between us man to man which I have wronged. And for this especially, I ask your forgiveness. Forgiveness? Well, words are easily coined. More easily spent. No. No, Giovanni. For me, I am willing that the bad that has transpired remain a thing of the past. It's that way with me. I have done all that is to be done. I know no other words to use. You're the worst foreman I've ever worked under. You know that, don't you? There's a saying in my province that there's no tyrant worse than a former slave. But my generosity is well known. I have a heart as big as the Dome of St. Peter's. <laughs> well, you're standing there for, huh? You got a matchstick for an old friend? before any more old walls are torn down. Yeah. yeah. If we all stick together, this job can be made safe. Well, sure. Oh, 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 Giovanni, do you mind? Take three men and put more shoring under the third floor. Now spread the word. Good. From now on, let the men do everything possible for their safety. Forget about speed. Oh, good. Okay. All right, let's good, go back good. to work. Right. Come on. Silver. Oh, Lucci. Yeah. Uh, prepare the chutes. I think today we will start pouring the concrete. Okay. Pisa should fall on it, but not even ship. Good. The men have removed a lot of the old material from the floor above. There's probably no real danger anyway. My uh, son, Paul, made me a radio. All by himself, mind you. A radio? Mm. Electric machine like magic. Music and Christian voices can be heard. Huh? Well, who knows? Maybe the heavens have gifted you with another Marconi. Ah. Huh? No, who knows? Well, I, I think I will test your shoring to see if it is enough. Julia! You want to keep your men clear. Okay. Stand clear, then. All right, Julia. We put in a set of the shoring down below. Let's try a piece of the wall. I'll quickly finish off this little stack of pebbles. Your feet are safe, but not your head. Do as I say. Put more shore into the floor above. Hey, Jeremio. Huh? Ready to pull. All right. Let her go. All right, Bassett. Oh, gee, wait. Wait a moment. 
Better check these cables up there first. All right. Now, where did that laughter come from? And why? I, too, felt laughter within me just now. What are we to laugh about? Not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, what time is it? Oh, by my American can of tomatoes, it is uh, <laughs> 10 minutes from 2 o'clock. Thanks. <laughs> Won't be long now. No, about an hour. Then, home. Jeremy, the cables are tight. All right, let it go. All right, Bastion. Hey, Luciano, we're pouring. Stop at Mulberry Street and buy the biggest deal. <laughs> As for me, I favor the seafoods with the shells, especially mm. the juicy clam. My mouth waters like a pump. Hey, Jeremy, what's the time? Uh, five minutes before two. else you'd like to tell him about the accident? What else is there to say? No, nothing else to add. Please go back and sit with your family now. What is it that is said now? It is being discussed how much money you may be paid. 
How will they find out? They will determine how much money your husband would have earned the rest of his life. How much he earns. Is that the value of a man's life? Who can tell them of his worth? Can I say to them, he was my life. What do you have here? You men, with your clean faces and soft hands, what do you have that can repay me? With what? With what can you repay me for my Jeremy? My beautiful Jeremy. What have you within these walls or within your hearts that you could offer me and say with decency? What can you offer to these children? What do you know of love and dream and tenement? How can you judge this man's life? How can you help? You are too late. Case closed. Annunziata. Annunziata. Well, they've come to a judgment. What have they judged? They've judged in the way men judge in this world of men. It is $1,000. There will be monthly payments for the children. Whatever else, you will not starve. Jones versus the Sandra Machine. What are you thinking, Annunciata? I am thinking that at last, Jeremio has bought us a house. <laughs> 